Welcome to your lesson 3.1 screencast. You need to have your math book open to page 145. This is your first um, flipped lesson for chapter 3. And at the top, we're going to first identify the essential question, which is what strategies can you use to multiply by tens? And if you remember back to chapter 2, we went through multiple strategies in order to perform multiplication. And you're going to see some of those strategies today during this lesson. So we're going to move down to unlock the problem. And it says, animation for a computer-drawn cartoon requires about 20 frames per second. How many frames would need to be drawn for a 30-second cartoon? If we remember back from our little chant, we know that we need to underline what we need to find. So we need to find how many frames would need to be drawn for a 30-second cartoon. Then we also are going to circle the clues that we need to use. So clues that we're going to need to use are the 20 frames per second and the 30 second cartoon that identifies how long the cartoon is in length. Okay. Over here in the blue box it gives you some more hints to help you identify what operation you're going to need to use in this problem. And it says the phrase 20 frames per second means 20 frames are needed for each second of animation. How does this help you know what operation to use? So then we can identify that 30 groups, because we know that it's one, one, 20, sec, 20 frames per second, and we have 30 groups because we have 30 seconds. So 30 groups of 20 frames, 30 groups of 20 frames are needed So we're going to multiply. Okay, so that tells us we are going to do multiplication in this problem. One way that we can solve this tens problem is to use place value. The problem as we identified is 20 times 30. Okay, you can think of 30 as three tens. So 20 times 30 equals 20 times three tens or 60 tens, which is going to translate to 600, okay? And over here, there's another reminder. Go Math is really good about giving you lots of tips and reminders. Remember, the associative property states that you can group factors in different ways and get the same product. Use parentheses to group the factors you multiply first. If you remember from order of operations, multiplication is going to be the first operation that you perform. This ties into our associative property way, which is right down here that we're going to do next. So you can think of using the same problem, 20 times 30, you can think of 30 as 3 times 10. So basically we broke it into a smaller problem. So 20 times 30 equals 20 times 3 times 10. The parentheses tell us that we're going to do this problem first. Parentheses are first. So we have 20 times 3 times 10. So it can be written the other way as well. Okay? So this tells us that 60 times 10 equals 600. And it's simply mental math. 6 times 1 is 6. And then we have two zeros that we're going to bring down to our final product. Okay? So 600 frames would need to be drawn. Okay, down here, our extended thinking, we have compare the number of zeros in each factor to the number of zeros in the product. What do you notice? So if we look back up here, our problem was 20 times 30, and we notice that in each factor there was one zero, and then in our final product, there were two zeros. Okay, so there is one zero in each factor, we're just going to write this out in a sentence. There is one zero in each factor. And there are two zeros. And there are two zeros in the product. Okay? We also know that one zero, so one 
from each factor. We know that one zero from each factor goes into the final product. So one from each factor. Hmm? Breaking my leg. Okay. All right. So that was place value and then associative property. We're going to turn to page 146. And on page 146, we have other ways that we can use to multiply tens. And the first way is to use a number line. So here, this number line represents 15 times 2, which 15 times 2, okay? And essentially, all we're going to do is we're going to skip count by 2s until we get to 15. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. So that was 15 jumps, two, ju two places each, so then that gives us a total of 30. Okay, this number line is a little bit different because it is going to skip count by 20s. So, 15 times 20 is our original problem, so this is going to identify the original problem. So we go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, telling us that 15 times 20 is 300, okay? And the last strategy that they're giving us is use mental math to find 14 times 30, okay? So use the having and double strategy. So step one, find half of 14 to make the problem simpler. So to find half of a number, we're gonna divide by two. 14 divided by two we know is seven, okay? Then we're gonna multiply. We're gonna take seven times 30. Seven times 30, seven times three is 21. Bring that zero, so it's 210. So then we're gonna go back and we're gonna double it. That's step three. So we're gonna take two times 210, and we know that two times 210 is 420, okay? So we know that 14 times 30 is 420, okay? The last step of our lesson today is the try this multiply, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this with you before I send you off to do the share and show. It says use mental math to find 12 times 40 and they want you to do the half multiplied double, okay? So we're gonna first think, we're gonna think half of 12 is six, okay? Then we're gonna take six times 40, and we know that six times 40 equals 240. Then we're gonna take two times 240, which equals 480, okay? So step one is to half, that's step one. Step two is to multiply, and step three is to double, okay? Same thing here, except they want you to use the place value to find 12 times four. So 12 times 40, sorry, 12 times 40 equals 12 times, and we know that 40 becomes four tens, okay? So that's gonna equal 48 tens or 480. Okay? So you have multiple ways that you can actually solve these multiplication problems. We just went through a few of those here today. I'm going to have you jump down to the share and show. That starts on page 146 with number one. I'm going to flip over to page 147. You're going to work through making sure to complete number four and number five. Okay? It does tell you to choose a method. So you choose the method that works best for you in order to find the product.